Any minute, the cement mixer was about to tip over and drag two workers with it. I didn't even have a chance to get to the cab and try to uh, run out the, the, on the truck and try to get out of it because there was no time. There was a, an upright post. They had run right square into that post. The chances of dislodging it, moving it sideways, tipping it over, everybody falling into the water. A case for David Martin and his bird. You just uh, see the water when it comes down uh, fast and, uh, and it's, it's just there. You, you have no, uh, no control over anything. It was a situation where we had to react now. Dave Martin knew that the big danger was in the high-tension cables. We assessed where all the obstacles were. We had to get the helicopter down between the sets of wires. What kept you from jumping? What made you not kept us, uh, the hope that the, the rescues will, will come over and help us out. But the men, obviously scared to death, didn't make it an easy job for their rescuers. Ricky did have some difficulties because the two guys that were standing on top of the cement truck were scared. They didn't hear everything Ricky said because of the noise, and it was very difficult to control them to get them into the aircraft. But he finally did, and everything came out just fine. If the truck had actually tipped over, the men of the LA Fire Department would have taken over. They're prepared to dive into the floods if the air rescue team does not suffice. During extremely testing training, they learn how to react in roaring masses of water. The most important factor is not to get dragged under some type of obstacle by the currents. So we're trying to do is teach them stay high. If you can't get over it, hang on. Hang on until rescuers can get to you and we can pull you out.